Howdy folks, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today we are on top of the world. Uh, we're at about one of the highest places we've worked so far. And the reason we're showing you this is because I want to explain something. They get 100 mile an hour winds here, maybe 110, maybe 120. So you better know what you're doing when you're working this high. You got Tiburon, San Rafael, San Francisco Bridge, San Francisco, Oakland, Lake Merritt, San Jose Bridge, and there's my house right over there. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to uh, show you something, and the reason I show this is because it's cool looking. Man, how would you like to look out your bedroom window or your, your evening window when you're sitting having dinner and look out there? That's working. What we're doing is right here. Um, come on down, Jay. Anyway, we're showing how to do acrylic finishes. And if you do acrylic finishes, uh, guys, make sure you use the primer. Why? Because with the primer, that not only seals it, but it's, uh, they don't warranty the product if you don't use the primers, guys. That's um, one of the things I, I hear at the yards all the time. They say, Kirk, you're about the only one who uses the primer. Uh, but you're supposed to use it. Why? Because right now, as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to go to another area because this has got to soak in and and dry it's got to cure for a while before I can come back and texture it um, what we've got going on here is we've got pieces of wood here so that we didn't drop all the stucco and all that jazz and have to pick everything up so what you guys do is you when you do a, a repair that has an acrylic finish on it and acrylic, all that is, is is stucco in a bucket with sand and specially uh, special paint, which is acrylic paint. So, okay, I'm going to go over here. Uh, can you step back a sec, Jay? Okay, guys, what we're going to do is is that uh, first batch, we got a patch here. I like to put a piece of wood down here, and I can hold on and stretch and, and plaster that. I got long arms. Staging set good, but that's a little bit out of our way. I'll show you something that is right here where I don't have to stretch too far, guys. Now, when I was talking about the primer earlier, I'll show you how important the primer is because, all right, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm spreading stucco flex. Talk about a good quality uh, exterior stucco. They don't come better than stucco flex, guys. Now, this is the patch right here. The patch is here. They had a decorative beam right here. It was a pretty cool looking beam, but it's seen better days. So this is my patch here to here. I'm going to feather in to the existing. And yeah, it's red. It doesn't matter. They're going to paint the whole building. So what we're doing is all I'm doing now is I'm applying a texture, guys. The texture is what we call in the trade a light float finish. That means the sand is 2030. The 2030 sand gives a, a medium float finish. If I were to use 3030, that's uh, smooth. Um, if I use 1620, that is heavy. So because I've got this primer here, I can, I can talk and I can plaster at the same time. If I didn't have the primer here, this would suck up right now. It'd be, it would be completely dry and I, I wouldn't even be able to float it. But because I have the primer, I can mess around like that. I'll show you, I'm gonna hit the bottom, then I'm gonna float this. And guys, when you're floating acrylic stucco, acrylic stucco is, it's kind of nasty, it smells terrible. Uh, it really does it it reeks and it's gluey so it's like spreading glue it uh, takes a lot of pressure it's about twice as hard as spreading a cementitious finish because it hits the wall and as fast as it hits the wall it dries out holiday Okay. Hey, Jay, do you have that uh, bucket of water by you? I do. <laughs> All right. Jay's going to hand me that bucket of water, and I'm going to show you guys how we 
float this. And, and guys, when you're up as high as we are uh, on top of the world, you can match this finish with a cementitious finish. However, if you match it with a cementitious finish, then when the painters come, it's going to ghost. What does that mean, that word ghost? That means right now we have an acrylic finish over the acrylic primer. And that's an extra layer of waterproofing. Acrylic stucco is about 30 to 50 times thicker than paint. So with an acrylic stucco finish on here, it'll seal this wall. I mean, whatever uh, they, they had here, that decorative beam, now they want this wall where it's watertight. Then they paint the whole thing. If I did not, or if they didn't, have a, an acrylic finish put over this, then their coat of paint would ghost. And again, I had pictures, but they're all the way in my truck. Because when I bid this, a fellow sent me an email and he says, hey, Kirk, why'd this happen? And he showed me a house. I mean, it's a big house, all big like the rest of these over here. And I looked at it and I said, well, the fasteners they used, they didn't put enough cement over them and why it's bleeding like that or it's bleached out in just, uh, I think it was, he said it was done about two years ago. I said, and why, why it's bleeding like that where it's all different colors is because they didn't apply the primer. And he says, well, how do you know? And I said, dude, I'm looking at the picture you sent me. I know what I'm looking at. That's how I know. That's why you asked me. So this finish here will match this finish here when this is painted and because we're using the, the primer like we're supposed to, we won't get that discoloration or the painters won't get it when they come in and paint this. Uh, kind of a, a lot of little things to know about stucco guys, but it's those little things that make a big difference. We're looking at the traffic here. It's a tight, tight corner, tight street. My truck barely made it up here, uh, but that's another story. Anyway, guys, um, if you have an acrylic finish to start off with, hire somebody who knows what an acrylic finish is. Make certain he's done a few of them, and there you go as far as patching that acrylic finish because unless you've done a few, you're not going to know why, and you'll end up putting a cementitious finish, which would match but again, when it's painted, all the patchwork, the texture would show different as well as the color. You'd have to paint it in that one area about 5 to 20 times. Another boring story. Anyway, guys, my name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. It's at the end of the day. It's Friday. We're getting ready to hit the road, but I thought I'd show you before we uh, go because this was kind of cool, just the, just the uh, sightseeing. As usual, guys, we thank you for watching and live long and plaster. By the way, folks, my dad and I are now members of Amazon Affiliates. So if you're looking to buy any of the plastering or construction tools you've seen in our videos and you want to support us in the process, you can check the links below our video or you can go to our website and get them there. If you have any other questions that for tools we don't have linked, email us direct and we'll respond to you then. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.